Guys, exciting news. So my last video, <clears throat> especially the Call of Duty one that says duos with randoms. Uh, today's the 7th, by the way. It's still the 7th of December. I already recorded two videos prior to my uh, shift today. I come back from my shift, and I already have two more subs. <clears throat> I went from 20 before work, and now I'm at 22 and I just got home. I picked up some Burger King. I got some original chicken sandwiches, some mozzarella sticks, some fries, a drink. I'm ready to game. So if you if you don't hear a lot of talking from me, it's because I'm trying to scarf my food down. But we're still getting into this gameplay, man. But, dude, the two of you that subbed <clears throat> between my last two videos and now, thank you. You guys are killing it right now. I am literally three subs away from hitting my goal of 25 subs before the end of the year. Three subs away. And I'm telling you what, every day I feel like, <clears throat> I'm like, ah, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't know if I'm going to make it. And, and guys, you're killing it with the subs. I appreciate it. I even got some comments from some of you. And I always reply back. Um, I'm one of those YouTubers that will always reply. Now, of course, if I get 15,000 fucking comments from some uh, from people it's going to be a really hard for me to do it but i will make time to at least do five to ten a day of commenting to you guys so i appreciate it it means a lot to me thank you to the two new subs to this channel again thank you and i hope they hear it because and i'll fuck it i'll even mention it in a Warzone uh, video when i upload so if you guys either like the madden if you don't like madden you're here for call of duty i'll say it on there but thank you a lot means everything to me I, I didn't think honestly that i would even reach 20 22 subs in a year like i mean to me that's a big deal as a as a youtuber sort of who mainly has i mean i have a real job outside of this like this isn't my job i don't make money off of it it would be nice but i don't i have to pay bills and that's that's my main job but i come here this is like my my zen right <clears throat> My area that I can get away from work, not focus on that, come here, enjoy it, and know that I have people out there like you guys that are watching my videos, commenting on it, enjoying it. I appreciate you guys, every single one of you, <clears throat> all 22, and even those who come back once in a while and are not subbed. Man, I'm not one of those guys that's like, oh, you got to sub, you got to sub. If you're just here to watch videos, that's fine. If you want to sub, cool. I'd appreciate it, but don't feel pressured. So... Again, I'm going to be eating my sandwiches, but we are going to be playing this game. So if you don't hear me a lot in this video, sorry, but I'm going to try to do both. So I'm going to mute it right now. Let's get into it. I'll probably pop, pop back in around the second quarter just to kind of keep you guys entertained a little bit. So enjoy the video. Here we go. Let's go. We're going against the Saints. They're at one and three. This is going to be an easy ass wing. Let's go, baby. He was a walking highlight reel last week with a four-touchdown game. It's the Seahawks and the Saints, and it's all up next on EA Sports. The folks, it is always a celebration here in New Orleans, and we are just outside of the Hopkins French Corner at the Caesar Super Bowl. Today, we've got a good week five matchup in store here. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. The losers their last time out, so they look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Seahawks, it's been all systems go in this first month. They're off to a 4-0 start. And the scout folks believe that this is a team that's built to go all the way. You can't win the Super Bowl in September.
Hey, look at that. Broncos won a game, 31 to 28. Nicely done. <clears throat> Let's go, Russell. Maybe I should stop running with him, right? <clears throat> I mean, he is 31. <laughs> uh, all right. Go, baby. Go, baby. Oh, no. See, I'm trying to spice things up a little bit in these videos to not make it seem just like the last season, but... There we go. There it is, baby. Catch it. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. So that drive spanned five plays. And 
the Seahawks capping it off with the touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded right around the eight. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line. The New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of the game still, don't you? Those don't ever hold around. And typically, I heard from guys that I don't remember from Paul. If you don't have nerves at the start of the game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not going to be ready to have. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. And Oliver through the line and hitting him for the loss. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Balloting the pressure right. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. The rain a lot of pressure already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once, had to get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck and roll being gone? Makes defense is a lot more than Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm is in. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. They bring him in off the corner that time, and he gets home for a loss of six. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. Here's Blake Gillikin now. This is brought in at the 21. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field ready for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got in that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Looking to throw again on second down. Smith. And this is incomplete. Yeesh, guys, we're not doing too hot. I really want him to run, but I don't know how that's going to happen. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ugh. It's another fourth down. Now, is Kenneth Walker injured right now? Because why is Travis Homer out right now? Oh. I'm in a food coma. I can't think straight. Where is Kenneth Walker? Please make it. Oh, no. Oh, damn. Fuck. That is a, that's something I usually don't do. Nicely done. All right, baby. So am I the only one that didn't realize that the Saints... Um, stadium was called Caesars Palace? Or is that just a nickname of it? Because it says Superdome... Right? It says su Superdome. So why is it called? Oh, let, let me know. Uh,
<coughs> Not good. Sorry for making slurping noises and food noises. Hey, everybody's got to eat. <clears throat> that shouldn't be on us, right? Yes, sir. Winston to the sideline here on field down, and Will Lutz gets set for a New Orleans field goal try. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Uh, this is the first time this has happened. Hell yeah, I've been trying to do that for a long time, man. Alt Robinson's got some speed. <clears throat> How crazy is that? And Neroso has six sacks on the year? Let's go. <clears throat> Ooh, I still got a chicken sandwich with four pieces of cheese. It sounds weird to you guys, but I'm telling you, <clears throat> don't knock it till you try it. I got some mozzarella sticks. Got everything. Set. You're all probably think I'm fat. <clears throat> I weigh 200 pounds, but... I'm lean. Oof. I heard that crunch too. Damn. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, 
And now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Blake Gilligan on to punt here. He's going to send this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That's pulled in at the 32. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a That's not gonna make it. Yeah, it's short. That was short. Damn. So we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing. As we well, we'll move right through the break then, skipping halftime and back to the field for the start of the second half. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. The Seahawks take so over. here are the Seahawks ready to take over on offense. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Kenneth Walker. I don't I don't remember him going out with an injury. So that's That's not good. He's taken in by the tight end fan. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The second quarter starts off with a bang as they snag over 30 yards. We had all halftime to think about what you wanted to do to start the second half. They came out with a big one. Does that not beg the question? What was happening in the other game? Was that the one play they didn't cover as a possibility? They just gave a big, big, big game. Touchdown, Seahawks! DK Metcalf. Touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Seahawks come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them running back at some point in their career and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays right after the catch and this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone I'm almost positive DK Metcalf has never <clears throat> played running back I almost I almost want to bet money on it Ooh. I want Nerosu to get another sack, man. Oh. Thank you. I hope it's on them. Who was it? Ah. Oh. Fuck. What a disaster. An absolute disaster, and you hope their lockers are not right next to each other for the post game. Safe to say one is that sucks. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Another modest game there on that one. I think Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They have to do it by throwing the ball and hope you have success through the air. And the pressure gets there. My God. Everyone's getting sacks. Take over. 
catch is made by Metcalf. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. DK Metcalf, his second TD of the game and 16th on the season. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Now Myers for the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 nothing now. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The New Orleans offense set to take over. We haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people... All right, fuck that. Woo! Body. Or Amadi, I should say, not Umadi. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh! <clears throat> Hill, you had that, bro. You had that. Thing I'm, I'm curious about is why is Trey Brown out there? And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fielded at about the 28. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13 yard return. That will be the offenses that take over. Sorry for the clearing of throat. I will try to stop that. Seven for ten, two hundred and twenty-five yards and three TDs. That's not bad for Gino. I thought he had less yardage, but apparently not. <laughs> That was a crunchy hit. Try that one before. That's an interesting one. Uh, I'll try Bo Melton. There it is, baby. Like Green Bay won 24 to 14. Aaron Rodgers 27 for 36, 277 yards, and a TD. It makes you wonder, like, how good these defenses are, right? They're four and one, but this last game, Aaron Rodgers only had one touchdown. That means the defense scored three. <coughs> Oh man. Buffalo Bills are two and two. That's weird. And they're barely beating the Steelers. Oh shit. 
this is a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards six seconds oh never mind we're going to the fourth quarter fourth quarter Blitz here. Come on, Buckner. Ooh! <coughs> Ooh! Buckner was literally an inch away from from sacking him, man. That would have been nice to see. Cry. The Saints on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third and eleven. They'll throw again. You know, interception. Ooh, called it. <laughs> the utter domination here just continues. This defense. I don't know what more we can say all around about their performance. Well, it certainly feels in this game. Maybe they're facing a Canadian defense. Twelve guys on the field. It feels like there's an extra on every snap because they have really struggled to make headway through the air. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter Ready? lead. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and ten. Just shy of midfield. John does not have a ball. After the interception, here's Smith. Oh my god, if you catch this. Holy shit. You hear that? 52 yards. <clears throat> really trying not to clear my throat right now. So I apologize. For those of you that are new to this channel, I do that a lot. I clear my throat a lot. I have allergies and asthma, so it kind of sucks. Um... I don't know how to describe it, <clears throat> but it's like you have something stuck in your throat and it just won't go away. You can try to, you know, cough it up to, you know, make it come out, or you can try to, you know, snort, you know, to get the thing going, but it just sucks. Taylor, Taylor, Daryl Taylor's got two sacks. Daryl Taylor picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. Two more to his total. Go three man deep. It's the best way to get an interception. <clears throat> Oh, Sydney, if you were, if you were five yards back, <clears throat> that would have been your baby. Taking it about the 36. Gets around him. And he'll be out of bounds. 
is just shy of the 40. So a change of possession here on the punt. Come on, Gino. I'm going to test out, or test out, I'm going to have to see why Kenneth Walker <clears throat> has not played today. Wait, what? I guess it's because we were going after it for a while. Let's just get him a, a little run, right? Ugh. We could be giving Kenneth Walker a break, but I, I'm pretty sure he left the game with no... What the fuck? What the hell? Well, what? Negative one? Homer sucks. <clears throat> Homer, you better get this damn thing. There you go. Already we have more yards than the Saints do. Got a minute and 28 seconds left. <laughs> yup. I'll do the game. It's a, it's a goofy meme. There's a touchdown right there. <coughs> what? Wow. Oh. <laughs> So I feel they're playing right now. <clears throat> Come on, fans. There it is. Couple of touchdowns for Gino. You can consider it's 50. Uh, come on. Sorry, we got to sign our kicker, huh? Saints, you got 53 seconds. Do you rest? Ooh. I gotta, I gotta get rid of Mamadi, like, unless he's on the leaderboard. <clears throat> then I might have to keep him this season, which is kind of... Ooh! Six for 20, 70 yards, and one interception. Mamma mia. Oh. You better go for it. You're not going to go for it. Some teams, when you play in the rookie mode, will go for it. Of course, Tampa Bay will win. Close game, though. 14 to 17. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Oof, damn. Wait, so it's saying right here, handoff or throw quick. Oh, shit. I don't, I don't like Travis Homer. 
I feel, oops, I feel like I gotta get rid of him. Well, that's embarrassing. But it's alright, game's over. We won. 28.5% completion. Damn. Matt Calf is your 91. We had him at a 99. Um, I think by season three, I, I want to say. So we're going to go ahead, go to the Cardinals. We're 5-0. and Great win. Uh, a couple of oopsies on my part. Um, it's embarrassing. Here we go. Breakout our running back. Wait, what? How did you feel about Kenneth Walker's last game? That guy has... What? I never thought of him as a franchise back, but you know what? Let's see what we can do against Arizona. If we give him the opportunity, I bet he'll surprise us. Well, we already know... Yeah, this this is no brainer. When you say last game, are you talking about the game before? Cause that's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Jason Myers, look, we'll give you. How old are you? We'll give you one. Let's just see what you say. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> you. How are you only 25 still? Did we get you at, at 22? Uh, let's see. Any news? Bears snag Shibi Trey Flowers off market. Ugh. Good. That guy's ass. Uh, wow. One and four for New England. So Browns, Colts, uh, Bucks, Eagles. Wow. Denver. All right. Denver, Kansas City. Baltimore Ravens, Green Bay are all 4-1. The only undefeated teams left are obviously us. <clears throat> it will always be us. And that's it. We're the only undefeated team. Uh, passing leaders. We're not on the board yet. Uh, hopefully soon. Kenneth Walker went down because he wasn't playing this last game. But he's still third place. Uh, DK Metcalf is pretty safe. Daryl Taylor. <clears throat> seven sacks. Damn. He is more than uh, Nuosu, which I didn't think about that. But look, look at the names right above him. Aaron Donald, Miles Garrett. That's crazy, right? Daxton Hill, Trevon Diggs, and William Jackson III all have three interceptions for the all-time first place. And that's about it for everything else. Uh, let's go to our um, thing here. Let's go to injury report. What's the kind of what? What? Where was Kenneth Walker? Uh, I'm I'm confused. I am a hundred percent confused. Anyways, <clears throat> Geno Smith had fifteen for twenty, three hundred and forty-one passing yards, six touchdowns. Two sacks, one carry for one yard. Ugh, but he was he was the NFC Offensive Player of the Week. I like it. It's the balling, man. He's balling. That's great. All right, guys. Hope you guys you enjoyed the... <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Again, thank you for the two people that had subbed within literally eight hours. Uh, it means a lot to me. Hope you guys are... Um, doing great. Christmas is just coming around the corner. I may do a Christmas live stream, maybe. And when I say Christmas live stream, I don't mean on Christmas Day, obviously. But it will be the week of Christmas, right? <clears throat> um, possibly. Like, like I said, it might be a Twitch thing. I'll see if I can go to Facebook Live. I don't know if I have to have a certain amount. Of, I think I have to have a thousand subs. Never mind. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, or I just might make a really long, like hour long Christmas video for you guys to watch when you're, when you're not spending time with family and friends and opening gifts and all that good stuff. So, uh, with that being said, have a good night guys. Take care. See you in the next one. Peace.